Hello everyone, hope everything's well and as always let's jump right into this. Now if you watched Quantum Mind, my video, if you remember that part when Obama said there's an enormous mystery behind the mind. Okay, we're talking about the study of neural melanin. All right. Now I used this book in the past, okay, my past video, and I just want everyone to just get an idea. Okay, I'm going to read something out of this book about chaos because melanin is chaos. It's chaos in the mind. Okay, let me read this right here. Um, in the past decade, science has discovered that many chaotic phenomena are not as disordered as they seem and often contain hidden patterns and regularities. Recall Bohm's assertion that there is no such thing as disorder, only orders of an indefinitely high degree. Okay, so chaos really is just orders of higher degrees. Okay, and for the uninitiated mind, it's going to look like um, just a bunch of gobbledygook for the lack of better words, <laughs> okay? That's why people can't put two and two together about our reality and how basically why things the way they are now is linked to a certain group of people and certain entities, okay? Now, if you guys saw the end of our white people biological experiment. They showed this book for a brief second. Now I'm gonna read something out of this book here. Um, I want you guys to really listen. All right. Uh, and really get the I get the idea on why they are studying melanin and also why. There is a lot of metals in our uh, deodorants, um, foods, shampoos. If you, if you think I'm lying, you can go to your kitchen and look on the back of any of your food products. They, are, they all have some type of metal in it. Okay, and you don't even have to be any biochemist to see that. Okay, this actually might be metal in the food. Like, have you ever seen titanium dioxide? Look on the back of, like, I don't know, a honey bun, and you will see that they have that ingredient on the back of it. Um, okay, and you're going to see why that's important. Now, I'm showing you this diagram while I read a page out the, the book. So you guys just get an idea, okay? And I'm gonna zoom in on this real quick. <clears throat> okay, now the predecessors of modern Homo sapiens all had high amounts of melanin. Lack of melanin is thus a relatively recent mutation. There's another type of melanin in the brain that is present in all human beings regardless of skin color. That is neuromelanin, and that's how People even think and have intelligence, okay? That goes for you white people, too. You wouldn't even exist without neuromelanin. So, even then, you got blackness in you. <laughs> All right. Neuromelanin is the dark pigment present in pigment-bearing neurons of four deep brain nuclei. The substantia nigra, the lucus ceruleus, the dorsal motor nucleus of the vague nerve, and the median roughy nucleus of the pons. In per Parkinson's disease, there is a loss of dopamine producing pigment neurons in the substantia nigra. In advanced Alzheimer's disease, there's often an almost complete loss of the norepinephrine producing pigment neurons of the locus ceruleus. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thus, melanin in the brain appears to provide a neurological benefit that is lost when such disease takes hold. Okay, now as you can see, there's the melanin right there, which is an essential part of the brain here. And 
the darker this is, the better your brain function, basically. And more advantages that you get. Okay? But this, it starts to, and this is one with no melanin in it. And this starts to deteriorate, and I'm going to talk about why in a second. Or read why in a second. Um, thus melanin in the brain per, appears to provide a neurological benefit that is lost when such disease take hold just rest that of course could this suggest that melanin itself may be advantageous to the capacity of the human body or aerial to function properly I would like at this point to suggest a remarkable possibility could it be that at one time in ancient past the entire brain was protected by melanin, providing huge neurological advantages. The remnants of this neuromelanin neuro would thus provide only an aftertaste <clears throat> of the full, rich, full richness of the superior capabilities of prior humans. Now, what they're basically saying is, is that at one time the mind was just encoded in chaos, in melanin, all right? which was in higher, um, because we already know the brain has electrical pulses, it was in a higher order of that, okay? That's why these prior humans or ancient humans had um, almost superhuman abilities, what modern humans would see as today, what really is just supernormal abilities, which I have been saying before, okay? And they're just trying to study that and use it for their own technological advancements. That's why they're, again, if I haven't already said it before, I'll say it again, that they that's why they're killing off blacks to harvest these organs. But let me read on. Interestingly enough, noromelanin has been detected in primates and in carnivores, such as cats and dogs, but it's not found in the lower species of animal. Okay? Now, my little theory on that is, is the lower species of animal wasn't made by the gods. It was made by a higher form of human that was probably good at academical science, you know what I'm saying, and good at, you know, genetics. Or it was these grays, which are basically just organic robotoid AIs that were just trying to emulate their creators, which is the melanated ones. Okay? <clears throat> this suggests in, that it may be one of the first casualties of de-evolution. That's his uh, theory on that. Recent research by J.D. Simon in the journal Pigment Cell Research suggests that melanin may serve a protective role other than photoprotection. Photoprotection is just protection from sunlight, if you didn't already know that. Melanin is able to effectively ligate metal ions through its carboxynate and phenolic hydroxyl groups, often much more effectively than other cleating substances within the body. It may thus serve to subcluster potentially toxic metal ions protecting the rest of the cell. This hypothesis hypothesis is supported by the fact that the loss of noromelanin observed in Parkinson's disease is accompanied by an increase in iron levels in the brain. If humans once had lighter body aerials unclustered by heavier elements such as metals, then it might be that higher levels of melanin and noromelanin allow the potential to remain as close as possible to that prior state. Now, I, I, I talked about this before. Um, in uh, the autonomy of men when I was saying that they're using harp and that's why they're shooting these chemtrails in the air which is full of metals okay because they're constantly trying to keep this melanin shut down all right now here's the last part of this the areas of the brain still containing neuromelanin are all centered on the base of the skull and the back of the neck. Okay? So, when they talk about the melanin, melanin on the back of the neck, 
that's where it just receded to because you know when something's not used it shrinks um, or it goes dormant I should say better word and when you raise your kundalini the back of the melanin the melanin on the back of your neck and skull gets raised up okay to obviously your brain okay that's why people start to have these awakenings <clears throat> because the ancient memory of particular knowledge is in that melanin which is in the back of your neck okay that's why people start just getting random um, vast amounts of knowledge when they start to become awakened because it's all in that melanin it's just stored memory right there okay now now this is a critical view of the function of neural melanin in an attempt to provide a unified theory now I'm not gonna read this whole thing I'm gonna put a, the link in the description and I just I, again I want you guys to do your own research I'm if I read this I'm basically gonna just be repeating everything I just read out the book basically they get more in depth here because they're doing their own studies okay but like I said before and I talked about in my other videos about melanin it has bioelectric properties okay all right and it and it has a lot more capabilities than just photo protection which is protection against UV light all right the Sun and so forth it also has the uh, ability to absorb harmful UVA uh, UV lights and convert it into uh, positive energy or uh, healthy energy I should say now I'm just gonna read this small part okay this paper provides a critical review of the numerous and various biological functions so far attributed to neural melanin in an attempt to provide a unified theory based on the peculiar physical and chemical properties of the black particle the neural melanin cage okay now you see what they just said <laughs> and for people who've been doing their studies okay the black particle you already know what the deal is they're trying to keep you away from activating that all right which I have said before in uh, past videos about melanin okay and I just want to say this last part here that the normal melanin in your brain connects with all the melanin with out, outside of you okay because remember what you perceive is what you conceive in your reality all right with that being said peace and love to the gods and peace and love to the ancient ones